Yo, 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 everybody. We are back here again today for another exciting video. Finally getting the opportunity to play a brand new game here in 2021. We're here. Hitman 3. Super, super excited. Um, Welcome to the I think this should be good. Initiate. So oh, we're just going to kind of go out. through the training a bit first and then... Uh, from then on, from there, we can kind of go into the campaign and actually um, play the campaign of what I believe is the final game in the Hitman trilogy, um, or at least the new Hitman trilogy, anyway. Secrets are our stock and trade. Besides, from what I hear, you have a few of your own. I'm not like you, in case you're wondering. I'm in the handler program. Agents and handlers work in unity. You know the expression, know your enemy? Well... That part is my job. Knowing your enemies only half the victory. I know. You also need to know yourself. I'm working on it. I read your case hmm. file. Impressive work. Partly textbook, but I suppose field work never is. Tell me, what did it feel like? Taking lives? Random. Disordered. Is that why you came here? Why you let us test you? Maybe I'm not the only one being tested. Well, we are here. Basic training starts at 0600 hours. I should leave you to prepare. All right. 0600 hours. That's when our training begins. Are you sure about this? I am. There are no second chances, Miss Burnwood. Not here. I choose him. May I inquire why? A blank slate, antisocial, apathetic and unresponsive. No doubt the boy shows promise, but... Perhaps I see possibility where others see limitation. Isn't that what a handler does, sir? We'll see. Anyone can kill Miss Burnwood. He still remembers nothing? If he does, he's not sharing. We will check up on his story. The hospital in Romania. In the meantime, keep him under close watch. All right. Seems like we may have forgot some things about our life. This operation originally took place in Sydney. The target was Calvin Ritter, infamous cat burglar, also known as the Sparrow. You will need to infiltrate the yacht, isolate and eliminate your target and exfiltrate, all without arousing suspicion. And remember, as an ICA agent, you are the most dangerous person in any room. But blunt force will get you nowhere in this business. And a true assassin never calls attention to himself. Good luck, Initiate. All right. So I believe it's pretty much the same thing as the training from Hitman 2. It's just been a hot minute have established, you exhibit an unusual since I've actually played Hitman. Use your instinct now to sense the position and movement of people around you and right. identify your target. As suspected, security won't allow you on board in your current outfit. We should avoid confrontation. Hmm, that mechanic is in your way. Sneak up and subdue him quietly. Perfect. Easily subdue that guy. Take his disguise. Disguise? You put on his clothes. That's what it is. That's a first. Might just work though. People do tend to see uniforms, not faces. Oh, okay. Be cautious though. Some people are more observant than others. Not bad, Initiate. Let's make sure we hide this body here. I appreciate all the, uh, like, the markers and things. I feel like those haven't been there in past, um, in past Hitman games, which I do appreciate because sometimes there's just so many options that you don't really even know where to begin, which I assume for some people is great, but... This particular uniform should get you access through the staff entrance. Just enforcers, people marked with the threat icon will find you suspicious. Make sure they do not spot you. So that guy here Hold could on. could tell that mechanic us. With his back turned, he's what we call an enforcer. He knows his crew and he'll see right through your disguise. So stay out of his line of sight. Right now for the tricky part. Start by locating your target. Intel suggests he's around the bar area. You're in. Well done, Initiate. That 
That is your target, Mr. Ritter. Unfortunately, the place is crawling with witnesses. I suggest you follow him. See if you can't isolate him. Alright, so this is our guy. We've got somebody following him constantly. Ritter's private deck is off limits for mechanics. If assimilation is the name of your game. Throwing blown enemies at people will knock them out and not eliminate them. If they are you found, they will be disguise. woken up. Hey, you can <laughs> oh! Well, that's gonna oh. leave a mark. Good thing we have insurance. That hurt. Okay. And we've got a perfectly nice Unlike freezer to throw mechanics, him in here. The cabin crew is allowed upstairs access. I see what you're getting at. Very unorthodox. I like it. How you doing? Here you are, Mr. Norfolk. Doing great, doing sir. How are you? Hello there. The target's private deck. Now we're getting somewhere. Ah, but according to... Enforcer Ritter. Ritter knows his crew. You can hide in plain sight by blending in behind the bar. You can tell... Ritter is another enforcer who picks his own cabin crew. So Back tread already. carefully. Blending in, I see. Well done, Initiate. The universe's way of telling you to quit. To get out of the game while you still can. The sparrow cannot die. You're not a superhero, Calvin. They don't exist. Well, not with that attitude, they don't. Just kind of vibing out here, just waiting to see what happens. Looks like this guy may be approaching. Mr. Norfolk, so good of you to fly down. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. No, uh, not before six. My wife is very insistent about that rule. <laughs> my sympathies. So, excellent timing. I just had the computer set up in my office. Shall we? Yes, please. Lead the way. Nice impression. If we win, you can fix me a drink. Anyway, sounds like Ritter is about to have a private meeting with the gentleman in white. This could be useful. It's kind of weird that his own bodyguards, though, don't know for it, isn't it? <laughs> who his crew is. You'd think that'd probably be an important step. Hmm. Clearly, Ritter doesn't want to be disturbed. Try sneaking around the back. impressive people get what they pay for mr. Norfolk and you paid for the best all right here I'll pull the files for you not my usual scene technology most of my clients are art collectors so what is it anyway some type of reactor well uh, not just a reactor mr. Ritter it's more of Hold a revolution on. 50 years ahead of its time Makes it to market first. I would love to just take him out here, but I'm actually going to try to follow the the tutorial. Like, I mean, it would be so easy just to bop and run. Now is your chance. Use your silent pistol or the client will notice. Just a moment, Mr. Norfolk. Your target is down. Now head calmly towards an exit. Off I go. The red car marks your exfiltration point. Simply push the button and you're in the clear. We'll be seeing ya. And that, ladies and gents, was the quick little tutorial that we get here before we get back into it. Advanced mission training complete. So I am playing this on PC and um I guess my hunch was right. I'm also uh I look forward to the final test. If only I could speak proper English, I guess. Um, I don't know what just happened. All the words uh, came out of my mouth. Lost in my mouth. Um, uh, yes. I'm playing on PC, but I am playing How on controller just because I'm not I super confident on keyboard and mouse at the moment. The um, the I still don't use keyboard and mouse that much, even though I have my PC now. Um, 
They could only be the Just how it is. Of previous training. Power like that, with no moral restraint, it could be dangerous. I thought that was rather the point, sir. All agents have weak spots, Miss Burnwood. Pressure points to keep them in check. But this one. Hmm. Perhaps it would be better to just. Give me a chance, sir. Give him a chance. I will take full responsibility. Very well. It's your show. So it seems like Miss Burnwood there is going to try to take a chance on us. Okay, sure. I love that. Um, we had to go back to the main menu anyway. Um, now it is time to begin the story. Oh, wow. So we can start from the beginning here if we really want to. Is that a fact? But we might as well just do the, the Hitman 3 stuff, right? Wow, so we've got a lot happening here. Can we actually start from the beginning? Oh, you can, I think. Ah, so we don't have access to Hitman 2. We have access to Hitman 1 and 3. That's kind of interesting. But yeah, I think we're just going to do the story of Hitman 3 here, since, you know, that is kind of what we're, we're trying to play. It is the actual new game here. Um, but yeah. Agent 47 and Diana Burnwood are the world's top assassins working for the ICA. Unknowingly, they have been hired by a shadow client to target a number of operatives of Providence, a secret organization working in the highest echelons of power. Providence's controller, the Constant, approaches Diana and makes her a deal. Eliminate the shadow client and learn about 47's past. I mean, that seems important, considering but when 47, 47 has quite an interesting past. ...is Lucas Gray, his lost childhood friend. He and Diana switch sides to fulfill an old pact. Destroy Providence. Together, they manage to capture the Constant, forcing him to reveal the identities of the three Providence partners. Eliminate them, and the war would be over. That's exciting. However... The Constant has an ace up his sleeve. Well, that doesn't sound good. But now, we are heading off to Dubai for the mission on top of the world here. Best laid plans. In the shadows. Behind the everyday world. Beyond the headlines and the seats of power, a hidden hand. It's nice to see actual real cutscenes. I believe in the Hitman, at least in Hitman One, they had like those stupid like animated cutscenes, like the ones that were almost more like a comic strip rather than an actual, you know, to use and throw away. Kind of actual cutscene like to with moving pieces and parts the unforgivable and it never gave us a second <laughs> until now after decades in the shadows we are fighting back me and 47 much has been lost but we are closer than ever we trapped the constant Providence's chief controller and finally learnt the names of its three partners. In their downfall, we lay the past to rest. <laughs> and, just maybe, look towards the future. 37. It's time. You really about to jump out this plane right now? That's friggin' sick. Ooh, I'm pretty excited for this. The Hitman games are just so cool, man. Like, just, just the scale and the openness, and like how there's just so many different possible ways to 
take somebody out like it's crazy. You know, I never planned this far ahead. You never do. I see someone got his memory back. <sighs> Wait, is that a beacon? Oh my god. A chopper? That was terrifying. What the hell? Base. Alexa Carlisle's helicopter just took off. Confirm target locations, over. Diana, what's the status? Right. We have a situation. Carlisle has left the building. And I think I know why. The Constant has escaped. He persuaded one of the sailors into setting him free. And since then, he's been seizing control of Providence assets and resources. I can only assume Carlisle is rushing to contain the damage. If she slips away again... We'll keep track of her. Make sure she doesn't. Meanwhile, the plan stays the same. Your destination is the Scepter, the world's tallest building where the partners are laying low, courtesy of their host, Sheikh Omar al-Ghazali. Marcus Stuyvesant is fifth generation old money. Okay. His family made its fortune in real estate and banking, and were at one point the chief landowners in New York. Carl Ingram is a powerful Washington kingmaker whose family grew rich selling gunpowder during the American Civil War, and later established a globe-spanning empire in oil, coal, and steel. Hmm. Both families long since retreated from public view, but their quiet dominance endures to this day. Now, the partners likely suspect that we're coming, so Mr. Gray will infiltrate building controls and disable all electronic doors and elevators. Stuyvesant and Ingram are about to find they have nowhere left to run. Wow, okay. Right. This is our moment, 47. Providence ruined our lives. I'm going to eliminate Carl Ingram and Marcus Stuyvesant. We return the favor. Happy Mission night. is active. We're not stuck in a building with them. They're stuck in a building with us. All right, so get two different targets here. Um, in terms of planning, I don't think we have really too many options. Um, yeah, well, we'll go for the middle difficulty and we'll just start it out here. Whew. Okay, so we have two targets already here in our very first mission. Um, Welcome to Dubai. I think we've got this in the bag, though. Today is the inauguration of the Scepter, and the ceremony is well. Ah, so this building has just been built, then. You will find Marcus Stuyvesant near the building's signature art installation. While a paranoid Carl Ingram has ensconced himself in his penthouse suite, security on highest alert. Mr. Gray is already in position and ready to assist. Whoa. Good luck, 47. You're telling me this is how we're starting right now? 47. Come in. 47, do you copy? We are on the side of a friggin' building, dude. Can I look down? Good. <sighs> Get back to me when you're there. As someone that has a fear of heights, this would not be a fun spot for me to be in. Now what exactly is your plan, 47? We going up? Can we even go up? Are we going down? You wanna go down? Oh my god. God, I would die. I would just, I would just cease to exist. One gust of wind going the wrong way, and you are absolutely hobnockered in that sense. You're just done. Oh my God. Could you imagine actually doing this? I certainly could not. Hang, scale. Then what? Drop down again? Forty-seven, use your camera and scan the lock, will you? I think I can override the okay. windows controls from here. I don't know how to do that. Aha. Got a little bit of a camera here. Use the camera. Scan that. Okay, how do I holster things up on the D-pad? Good to know. Alright, I mean we just entered through their window messing their people up. Position. Forty-seven. The inauguration is <clears throat> taking place okay. close by. Once you've infiltrated it, mm -hmm. get your bearings. I'm sure there must be floor plans somewhere. Okay, Understood. so we're looking for some we floor plans. Focus on this one. If Ingram and Stuyvesant are alerted to our presence, we may lose them for good. You really need a disguise too, because like so close, I assume they're not gonna, you know, let us walk around in this thing. Going Let's climb up this. 
be very, very careful though. Make sure we understand the importance of what's in our surroundings here. How exactly do they expect me to... I was gonna... Wait. No. This is not gonna be good, is it? Oh, whoa. What the heck? Okay. Welcome to the Barge Alcazar, right? Welcome to the Spectre pamphlet. We got some intel there. Okay, let's just kind of take a look. Use our little instinct business here. Just to see what we can see. Okay, so we do have a target there. And... Uh, Pretty sure the majority of people are up, like the the other guys upstairs somewhere. So let's just kind of make sure we look through all of our surroundings. We don't want to miss anything. This is locked from the other side. These elevators are probably locked down, and I'm assuming we can't get in there unless we're staff. Okay, so it would be nice to be able to get in there, but I don't I don't think that's going to happen right now. We'll have to get one of the staff members kind of out on their own. Wow. This is so cool, man. They've really they've really done it for this for this one. Whoa. So cool. Okay. So don't know exactly who we want to go after first. Is this guy gonna let us buy? Yeah, without any, without even a stint, this guy's letting us buy. We've got something over here. Listen, I want to talk to the partners directly, make them understand why all of this is happening, and that terminal okay. gives me an idea. There's a server room near the Sheikh's personal reception. If you can gain access to it, we might be able to recover useful intel from it. We'll have to work together to hack the system, but it's our okay. best shot. Yeah, I will certainly follow that if that's what they want me to do. It looks like the staff area could provide you with a viable route to the server room. Okay, so the only issue with that is we need a staff member's kind of outfit I would imagine to get in there, right? Oh, we need a key card, don't we? There's a keypad lock on the doors to the staff area. One moment. All right, try this. 4706. Nice. There's quite a bit of security here. One moment. You ready for some more fresh air, 47? Okay. Who is it that's getting up to investigate is my question. This person. Poor lady. Oh wait, what? I can't take her disguise? What? Take this guy's disguise? You can fit two people in one of these, I hope. Perfection. Easy peasy. Now, some of these guys are still gonna know. But I'm hoping that if I play my cards right... Okay. I think I can open that window remotely. Scan the lock with your camera and I'll have a try. Well, what am I supposed to do here? Uh-huh. 
Is this guy gonna leave? Yep. Alright, just had to take our time there. Oh no, no, no. Was it, would that be death? That would be death. Let's, uh... Let's maybe get this one out. You know, actually open up the right window here. Take the scenic route. I don't know what that means. Sheikh Al Ghazali is reaching out to his worldwide network of lawyers and financial contacts, attempting to restore the lost power base of the Providence Partners. If Ingram and Stuyvesant were asked to a meeting, thinking they'll be told of new okay, developments, wait, what? I suspect they'd jump at the chance. It wants me to go up, There's a but like area at the top of the building. It can be sealed off for private conversations. If we lure the targets there... Am I going to die if I vault over this? Okay, no. Okay, I guess we're, uh... We're doing this now. We're going to climb up this little pole. That was... That would have been... This is terrifying. I don't... <laughs> I really don't appreciate this, to be honest. Alright, I think we can make it pretty much all the way up here. Thanks to this lovely pole. Could you imagine? Again, just one, all it takes, one gust of wind and you're, fuck, you're just gone, so you're done. You're dust. Yeah, just let me up here, please. Nice little camera we've got there. Alright. Server room should be behind one of the doors in this hallway. Okay, so this guy. Oh, wait, did we just merc someone? Oh, God. What, what am I meant to do here? That hurt. Actually, let me take his his thing here. Whew. Okay. I'd say we're doing this. We're doing this. Don't mind me. A calendar function. We can use this to summon the partners to a fake meeting, 47. All right, I'm no hacker like Olivia, but I think you need to pull one of the racks here to gain access to the terminal. Okay. Um, how am I supposed to know which one, though? Damn it. A silent alarm has been tripped. Security is on its way. Hide, 47. Please don't come through this door. And of course, it's all fine here. Oh, I hate this system already. Okay. So I don't even remember which one we pulled, unfortunately for me. Yes, sorry about that, 47. Let's try again, shall we? Uh, 
I think I've got it. We'll need a key card to gain access. Someone in maintenance should have one we can borrow for a spell. Hey, it's me. I thought about what you said. Yeah, I changed my mind. It was an insane idea to start with. Exploding gold scale. Come on. Dump him in here before anybody else notices. Okay, so that's something that we need to keep in mind of whatever she's talking with the golf ball in the maintenance room. Well, that must have done something. Can you see anything different in the room? Uh. No, I, I can't. Actually. What happens if I just pull one of these again? Seven guards are heading your way. Be careful. Just in case. Which one did we pull? The one... F Not the one we're taking cover on, but the one in front of us. Oh, you can see that guy's body in there. Okay, so. It doesn't change anything, though. Like, nothing... Nothing in the room becomes different. It's not that I can see. I'm literally considering just... Well, we don't want to do a sabotage of anything, right? How do you acquire admin privileges, though? We're not just going to waste our time doing this now. Oh, wait. This one says monitoring server disabled. Oh. Good. We're in. Okay. Now, all you need to do is access the terminal and use the calendar option to summon the Providence partners to a meeting. Good work. The meeting has been booked. The partners should be moving up here shortly. Huh. Looks like the lounge can be sealed off for private conversations. And Excellent. I see the partners moving. You should join their meeting. Time to end this. For All right. Cameras are showing a lot of guards up here. I don't want to be disguised as the vent staff. I want to be disguised as own, a guard. Look at all the outfits we have here. We've switched outfits so many times just in this little hallway. This is normal for us because it's part of our disguise. Hello. Yeah, I just wanted to remind you about the uh, lockdown drill tomorrow. That's right, 900 hours. And the key card to activate the alarm is still in the safe in the security room. Yeah, thanks, folks. Please keep it in mind. We've got to get up a floor somehow. Right here. Do me a favor and get rid of that thing, would you? I hate guns. He wants me to holster my weapon. So we're about to have both of them in one in one spot here in this little private meeting room. Or in this little lounge here. 
The only issue is, is now that we're in the lounge, what what exactly is the plan to take these guys out? We'll just wait for the partners to be alone. Then you can activate the... The partners are alone now. I'll activate the panel controlling the room's security features. When you're ready, use it to start the show. You wouldn't call us up here without good reason. I trust his people will have multiple scenarios. What's this? Carl? Did you do that? I certainly did not. I have no idea what's going on. You have no idea. Oh, that's sad. Unexpectedly fast. Finally, Stuyvesant and Ingram are gone. Providence will soon be no more than a bad memory. Forty-seven. Thank you. I'll meet you at the rendezvous on the edge of town. Heck yeah. All right. Well, I'll be heading out now. Thanks for the thanks for the help there, ladies and gents. <laughs> Easy friggin' just locked him into a secure room in case something goes down, and little do they know, they were in a secure room with me. <laughs> Sucks to suck for sure. Let's make sure we don't get caught on the way out, though. There's still people that can tell our disguise apart from others here. Oh, we just got... Oh, wait, we don't have a freaking crowbar? And we just got recorded by a camera. That's... A whole whack of bad news there. Okay, I think we're okay, though. Hoping we can get over to this... This exit that's like 40-something meters away. Yes, sir. It's fine, I don't care. We're getting out of here. Ladies and gents, just like that, we eliminate our targets. <sighs> I guess. Pfft, we're going to see what happens in our next mission. I mean, that was, that was pretty simple. We'll see you in the next one, guys.